Hello, welcome to the next episode. This time we are going to talk about TextGen. Just like the generator, the TextGen aspect serves the purpose of generating code. However, there's a big difference between these two. While the generator is focused on model-to-model -model transformations, the, the text gen is the final stage of code generation where the model needs to be flushed into text. So in the overall generation scheme in uh, MPS, when you hit the generate button and your languages are being generated, they are gradually, the models are gradually transformed into lower level languages. So the constructs that you use in your models are being generated into lower level uh, constructs until you get to a bottom line set of base languages which then are flushed into text, into textual files that are persisted on the disk and then can be used further by compilers or other technologies. So while the generator is a higher level principle and has more flexibility and more possibilities, the text gen is a very straightforward mechanism for flushing tree-like models into a textual buffer. You actually rarely get in touch with text gen directly in MPS, because if you define domain-specific languages or or higher level concepts for existing languages, you are only concerned about the generator because you need to translate your constructs into lower level languages such as the MPS base language. So use the generator. Only if you need to directly generate text or if you are in the business of creating a base language of some sort, in that case you need to use text gen and then this episode can give you some guidance. You may always come for inspiration to the MPS base language because that's an example of a bottom line language that then is transformed textually into, into plain text Java. So it has the text gen aspect defined for almost all the concepts. If statement, for example, is translated into Java textual if statement in this piece of code. So this is text gen for an if statement. And you see clearly at the first glance that we're appending characters into the output buffer. So we're taking the buffer and we're adding new line, then indentation. We somehow handle indentation, then we output the if and the left parent characters, then condition, which will take care of itself because it also has a text gen aspect. All expressions have a text gen aspect defined, so they will somehow append themselves into the buffer. Once they are done, we append the ending parent and the opening brace. Then we increase indentation and append the, the body of the if of the true branch. Then we append the closing brace and then the else if clauses, if there are any, and in the end, the else branch. In a similar way, an assignment is appended this way. First, whatever is on the left-hand side of the assignment, then the assignment symbols. You know, there might be multiple assignment symbols for different types of assignment. The most common one in Java is the one using the equals. So the alias is equals, so the alias is output here. And then the right value of the assignment. For interface definitions, Interface is a root concept. So root concepts are generated into files. So we, we get a file. The file name will be the name of the node, so in identical to the name of the interface. The extension will be .java, encoding UTF-8 in our case. Well, and then we just flush out all the information for the interface. So all the documentation comments, then the header, then all the annotations and visibility and then optionally static word and interface and the name of the interface and so on and so forth. So this is the text gen definition for an interface. Notice there are a bunch of instructions here that you might not understand at the moment. Uh, the most common one is append. This is the command that will append, append stuff to the buffer. So the append instruction will append anything into the output buffer. 
and now you might either output some text or you might with control space and uh, then the left brace you get a list of options you might add you might add a node or a property of a node so for example this is an interface so we can refer to it using node now node.name for example that's a property or we might take uh, we might take methods let's say the fir first method and append that one so now we delegate to the methods the text gen here we might also do a list so this would be if we wanted all the methods to be to be appended we might pick a reference if we had a reference we don't and you might add more so if you hit enter you might continue so here if I if I hit the apostrophe symbol or pick constant from the menu now I can type constant text that I want to appear in the generated buffer I might in a similar way I might I might add a new line symbol they, these all will be appended into the buffer then there are some more commands but we'll get to them gradually let's start from the beginning as an example we'll use the constants language here the constants language defines a constants concept which is a container for constants each constant is basically an identifier so a name and a value an initializer so a constant can be initialized to some value and then we also have references which may refer to other constants so ultimately when you use the language you define set of constants each constant has a name and uh, an initializer the initializer may refer to constants defined above in in the set of constants and this is being generated into Java so then you get a Java class with public static final constants of the appropriate type now this language uses a generator so it translates these constructs into base language and then base language will take care of the text generation but we'll now abandon generator and try to mimic the functionality using text gen at least to some extent to illustrate the core principles of text gen so now we'll remove the generator and instead we add the text gen aspect now it's currently empty but now we can but we'll fix that so for a constant if we want to generate constant into a, into text so we would just append so we would just append node dot name then equals and then node dot initializer that should be good enough for now for constant reference so if we have a reference that refers to another constant so we might just print out the name so we go append so we pick node dot original dot name so only the name will be output here and for the list of constants so now we want all the constants to be output so we get a file name with an, the name of the node extension let's let's do java so what we need to do here we need to append text public final class space so now we need a name node.name and now the open space and opening brace now we need to close with 
the closing brace and in between we should append all the constants now there's a list of them those so node constants so for each constant we'll get this append, uh, appended so node equals an initializer and we should perhaps finish with a new line so they are all on new lines so this is still not java syntax i'm sure but this as a first attempt this might be good enough so let's rebuild the language and now we can preview what gets generated for these constants so we get a file file called my constants java public final class my constants and now we've got the constants now the first one is not a new line we should fix that and apart from that it all seems fine so now we can generate proper fields here if we want it but we probably won't won't go all the way so here we need um a new line so right after this we need a new line as well and then we need to fix indentation so on top of having a text buffer into which we append text we also have some current state of indentation and we can use that so there are several options to handle indentation the first one would be to increase depth of indentation before we invoke the constants and then decrease depth once we get back but this by itself won't help it's just changing the value of the buffer but we're not using the buffer anywhere so it won't have any visual visual effect it's still not indented so to use indentation now we have to we have two options we can go to the constant text gen and now for the first cell here in the inspector we say use the indent buffer so the first cell here here before appending we also indent the current state of the indent buffer so now i rebuilt and now we should get indentation correctly and we do the other option would be in a constant instead of using this with, with indent buffer we could just indent uh, the indent buffer we could use the indent buffer instruction which will do the indentation for us before we start appending good and now irrespective of which way to indent buffer you use in here you've got a second option in here instead of manually increasing the depth and then decreasing the depth you could use the with indent buffer with indent um, instruction so this means now within here for all the inst append instruction in here what, no matter how, m how, how many of them you have there so all of them should use an increased value of the indent buffer but they still have to call indent buffer or use the um, with indent flag to be set on true otherwise the indentation set here will be ignored so let's try this one so still properly indented all right a few tips if you if you encounter an error you can report the error through font error this is how you report an error to the text gen and then it will be reported to the user so the user can react here we go so error found so here's the error we reported so the user could see it also you have access to the buffer parameter buffer is the actual buffer into which we append text and it has a few handy methods except for append and font error that we can use directly through the append and font error instructions there are very useful getters that you might use to get length of the buffer default buffer size uh, the line number at which you are at the moment the line separates are being used and, and so on and so forth so many interesting stuff that you might be interested in being able to read at some point during uh, text generation 
Well, alternatively, for references, we could use the reference syntax. So we could use reference node. Now this is constant reference, if you have a look at it, and it has a reference original to original, which is the constant. So we could use this syntax where we say, well, where we specify that we want a reference. Now we indicate that we need from this a reference ori called original. You know that's that's this one. So this is the way we do it. So this syntax now will append a reference to the original. Let's see how this works. Right. So it works just fine. Additionally to defining text gen aspects for individual concepts, the text gen uh, model, you can also create language text gen declarations, which effectively is a set of reusable operations that then you can call from uh, the concept text gen declarations. So let's create one, just as an example. Let's give it some name. Well, we can extend an, uh, another one. So in here we can create operations and functions. Operator operations, which we create first, are reusable text gen parts that can append stuff to buffer. So we can create an operation called foo, and we can do the same stuff we do in text gen, like appending something to uh, to the buffer, so we can append foo. We might accept a parameter as well. Let's say we want a node, um, and we give it an it should be a constant, constants. Let's say so we've got constants. So now we can append. So now we can append name of constants, for example, and to call this we would just somewhere wherever we call append we would just invoke the operation foo and we need to give it a parameter constants which in our case is node itself well and then functions so we can create a boolean function for example is bar and now well we can call it from here, for example, if is bar, then append this. So the the functions should be visible from within the from within the language component, or from all language text gen components that extend this one. That's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.